Good morning, family. Welcome back to Lightworks Intuitive Healing. I am your intuitive reader, healer, and messenger here today to share a scripture and prayer with you guys. It's Sunday, and I hope that you guys are having a blessed morning so far. I hope that you woke up with an attitude of gratitude, ready to thank God, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors for all that they do for us every day. Just be grateful that you have air in your lungs to breathe, the ability to walk, talk, see, taste, touch, hear, smell. Okay, turn the light on, turn the light off. <laughs> um, just to rise to see the sun shining and just a new day and a new opportunity to grow to make changes to right wrongs it's just a blessing to have another day so i want to read this scripture uh psalms 130 <clears throat> and it reads out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord, for my whole being waits. And in his word, I put my hope. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Okay, so that was Psalms 130, 1 through 6. And I have this little passage here that uh, makes reference to Psalm 133 uh, through 4. Psalms 130, verses 3. And four, okay. So this is talking about uh, understanding that we all fall short of the glory of God. We all make mistakes. We all have sinned. Um, so this is about understanding that even in these times, as people are uh, being malicious and sinning in this way or that way we're not better than anybody okay no one is better than another person now although many of us especially in the collective do not have maliciousness in our hearts we have to understand and separate the entity from the vessel and what that means is demonic and dark entities can house themselves in anyone okay they've at one time housed themselves in me they've housed themselves in you they attach themselves to low vibration so yes it is our responsibility to be of high vibration make good choices and it's not as easy for these entities to attach themselves to high vibrational people but this is just saying that uh, we all have a history. We all have a past. So God is wanting us to. How can I say this? Because there's a lot of people that are doing things that are intentional, you know. So I don't want to be confused with um, putting everybody all in the same pile because we're not. Okay. We're not all in the same pile. There are some of us that are healed or trying to heal and there's just there's some of us that are not healed and not trying to heal okay and let me read this passage it says imagine being confronted with a list of everything you've ever done wrong the list spells out every big sin and every small mistake it details the deeds you did on purpose and wrongs you're not even aware of it covers every mishap whether thoughts, words, or actions. How many trees would the Lord have to kill to put all your thoughts on paper? Okay, that is something that 
the Most High is wanting us to ponder on today. Okay, this is saying that if God kept a record of every single thing, large or small, that you did, how many trees would God have to kill to write down all of your sins? Okay, um, what else does it say here? The sweet reality is that you can banish that imaginary list from your mind because the Bible promises that the Lord doesn't keep a record of your sins. Forgiveness seems like a prime excuse to purposely go on sinning over and over, but that would be an act of total contempt for your God, showing disrespect, the riches of his kindness, forbearance, and patience. The Lord has wiped your record clean. Don't abuse his kindness, okay? So there's two important messages that I want to expand on a little bit more. And that's one. Is If you're instructed to, if you are approved or authorized by God to pray for those that persecute you, those that are causing havoc in your life, people that you know are sinning and working out of liberation. If God is saying, pray for that person, then pray for that person. Okay? Know that at one point in time, we were all in these lower vibrational states, no matter how low, uh, some lower than others, but that's not the point. God is just wanting us to understand that uh, we've all sinned, we've all fallen short, we've all done something that we shouldn't have knowingly or unknowingly so if we are to judge these people to the point of condemnation then we're sinning okay because that is not what God wants from us okay I always say do not attach yourself to the karma of those people that are sinning or whatever it is they're doing do not anxiously wait for someone to receive their karma, okay? Just understand and know that we all have karmic debt. We all have to pay it. So no matter the time, how long it takes, if someone has done something and, the God, and God sees fit to make that person pay in this way or that way, that's not your business, okay? Because if you attach your yourself too closely to someone else's karma then it could hit you okay so and the second part of the message that I wanted to touch on is those that take advantage of God's kindness and forgiveness yes God continuously forgives us for everything that we do when we pray and repent with a pure heart and pure intention keywords pure heart pure intention okay God is no fool God knows if you are planning on going to go do some dirt and you're gonna just say okay I'm just gonna pray about it and ask God to forgive me when I come back and then I'll keep doing that that is not the best idea because God knows us inside and out better than we know ourselves so God knows if your heart is genuine and pure or if it isn't. So please don't be a fool and try to deceive God in any way. <laughs> and there's a difference between struggling with temptation and, you know, falling weak to our flesh of something that we want to do. Um, but in our hearts, we really want to change. That is a different story than just blatantly, intentionally doing something that God is saying don't do. Okay, so I just wanted to share those words with you. We all, we are all hopefully trying every day to do better, be better, okay? Um, nobody's perfect. It's just baby steps, okay? Just every day, try. If there's something that you know God has been nudging you to do, try. I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm hard-headed too sometimes. God has to sit me down sometimes too. If I'm doing something that um, God has said, you know, you know I told you don't do that. I'll hear those subtle nudges and I'm like, okay, let me get my act together. So 
I may not fully dive into whatever that is, but every day I want to try and I want to encourage you all to try to do these things that God is asking us to do or not do. All right, y'all. So let's pray. Let's take a few deep breaths. Divine Holy Father, Divine Mother, Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light, Archangels, Guardian Angels, and Spirit Guides, Divine Beings, we love you so much. We are so grateful for your presence, your guidance, your support, your protection. Most High God, we are grateful for your grace and mercy. We understand how blessed we are to have an opportunity to change every day that we wake up, to have the opportunity to get a do-over of the day that we had before, to try every day to improve our behavior, our patterns, our addictions, to, to release ourselves from addiction. Whatever it is that's holding us back from you, God, you give us a new opportunity every time we wake up to change and just try to be better. We thank you, God, for healing us day by day from the situations that we've had to endure and those situations that we are still dealing with, God. We just thank you because so many people did not wake up today. And they no longer have an opportunity to change and grow, to breathe. So we are grateful. We are grateful, God. Grateful for every single thing that we have in our lives. The ability to just speak, to connect to the world in some form. The ability to maintain our households, to raise our children, to have Uh, income to have lights to turn on, gas to turn on, clothes to wear, food to eat. Everything that you do, God, is a luxury. Even the smallest of things is all a luxury, God. We recognize that. I pray right now a special prayer, God, for those people that are completely lost that have no intention of surrendering to you, no intention of being kind, no intention of being loving to others. Those people that have the most malicious hearts that are housing dark entities, I bind you, Satan, right now in Jesus' name. You have no power, no power, no power your minions have no power no power no power in jesus name you are cast back to the pit where you belong and you shall stay and so it is i pray over the collective right now god that you would just help us to continue to heal help us to continue to ascend I pray, God, that every word that ever comes out of my mouth is authorized and anointed by you so that I'm able to speak and help lead and help the collective to grow in a positive way. I pray, God, for those that are homeless right now. God, we live in a fruitful and bountiful world. It baffles me how there is anyone on this planet that has nowhere to live, no food to eat. It's ridiculous. So right now I pray God for doors to open, for resources to be poured out, for everyone to have everything that they need at this time, God. I pray that you would use me as a vessel to help these people. I 
pray for change in our government to eliminate homelessness. We have more than enough money to get everyone off the street to provide them with all the resources and food and clothing and shelter that they need to provide them with workshops to increase their skills to provide them with medical care psychological care the, all of these things that they need in order to get back on their feet and become active citizens in this world again God but nobody seems to care so I pray God for change in this world these politics that are all about the agenda, whether Democrat or Republican, they all have an agenda, God, but neither of them are your agenda. I pray, God, right now for a change in the politics. I pray for every person that is going through physical or mental illness right now, God. I pray that you would heal them in their bodies from the head to the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. I pray for every doctor, every nurse that's over their case, God, that they would be able to help them and do the right things and use their expertise to heal people and not to keep them sick and keep them coming back. We need change, God. This world is so corrupt so much corruption it hurts my heart to see the way that people operate in this world I pray God for you to come and reign upon this world and change things and change people I pray for all of our families right now that you will regulate all of our hearts, minds, and spirits to be better, to do better, to keep you at the forefront of our heart, minds, and spirits, God, to make better choices. I pray for an open eye, God, an open eye of discernment to know who is for me and who is not. I pray that same prayer for the collective, God, that they would have discernment and know who they need to separate themselves from. We love you so much, Divine Mother, Divine Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We magnify your name. We thank you for every message that comes out to make us aware of our surroundings, to make us aware of what is going on in our world, God. I pray right now for every person that is closed off in mind, that doesn't understand how we are all connected despite religion. You are God of all gods, creator of all things, the great I am. You reign over everything and everyone. There is no separation of religion, God. You reign. Let us remember that, God. I love you so much. I thank you so much. Please forgive us for those things that we have done that we don't realize and those things that we do realize, God. We just love you and thank you for another day. Amen and Ashe. All right, y'all. I just wanted to pray and get on here and give you guys a scripture. I actually am going to be doing something new very soon that I'm very excited about. Um, this is all about merging all of these separated uh, indoctrin indoctrinations. Um, I'm not going to really get into it now, but very soon it's time. God is, God is urging us to really open our eyes and see how they want to separate us okay and God is going to be using me to close that gap very soon so I love you guys so so much mwah, 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 mwah. okay <laughs> I will be doing a few readings today so I will catch you all then peace and blessings love and light Ashe.